Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Kubernetes cluster using KubeADM tool. So what is KubeADM? KubeADM is one of the tools provided by Kubernetes in order to set up cluster in a quicker manner. Right? Let's say that you know you want to learn uh, Kubernetes. You want to set up a Kubernetes cluster. Of course, you can use Minikube, but if you want to have more um, you know, features of Kubernetes, you can set up a Kubernetes cluster using KubeADM. That is what we are going to learn in this video. Okay, so this is my website, folks, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. Awesome. So let's look at the pre request. How are we going to set up our cluster? Right. So, yes, we need to have one master node for sure. Yes. So, we are going to use Ubuntu uh, instance with 4 GB RAM. Okay. And we are going to open up all the uh, port, um, right? So all the port needs to be open. I'll tell you why, you know, later in the video, why we have to open all these uh, port. And then we also need to uh, set up a uh, worker node, right? So I'm going to use one master node and then one worker node, okay? It, it is up to you. This is just for the demo purposes. But, you know, in a real time scenario, you may have one master node and then multiple worker nodes, okay? All right, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to provision two Ubuntu instance in AWS Cloud, okay? And one with the 4 GB RAM and then another one uh, with 2 GB RAM, okay? All right, so let's launch instance. Ubuntu 18.04. So let's quickly do uh, the master one, review and launch. And we need to open up all the port here. Add rule, open all traffic, and put me like that. Review and launch, launch, and use my existing key. So that is for the master, right? So I'm going to say as a master node, and then I'm going to launch another one for worker node. So let's open up all traffic for this as well. Use the existing key. So this is worker node. Perfect. So both are coming up. All right. So the way we are going to set up uh, Kubernetes cluster, right? If you can see here, uh, we need to execute some commands on both the nodes, both master as well as worker node. Okay. And then there are a few commands we need to execute only on the master node. And then we need to uh, finally uh, join the uh, worker node to the master node. Right. So, so we would be using this particular command. Okay. Awesome. So let's get started. So we need to start with installing necessary uh, you know, utilities, right? So we are going to install uh, APT transport HTTPS. Okay. So we are going to install that on both the node. And then we are going to change into root user and then we are going to perform these commands. And then we also need to disable swap memory for better performance. Uh, we need to enable IP tables and then, you know, install Docker on both the nodes. And then we have to add Ubuntu user to the Docker group. And then finally, we are going to install Kubernetes uh, modules, right? So all these instructions should be executed on both the nodes. Okay, awesome. So let's connect to both the nodes. So this is my master. I'm going to open up my item. So this is the item. So let's start, uh, you know, executing these commands in the master node. Once this is done, we are going to change to root user. Okay, this is done. Okay, and then we are going to perform these commands.
perfect now we are going to disable a uh, swap memory for better performance kubernetes requires that okay perfect and then we need to enable it uh, tables this is mainly for part to part uh, communications okay so let's uh, copy these commands going to perform that and then do this way okay perfect okay and then we need to install um, docker right so let's install docker and then we need to add ubuntu user to the docker group And then restart Docker and then enable so that you can uh, start this whenever you restart the EC2 instance. Perfect. Now we need to come out of the uh, root user. Now I'm back into Ubuntu console and then we need to start installing a Kubernetes module, right? If you see here, I'm installing kubelet, kubeadm, kubectl, all of these, uh, you know, Kubernetes uh, modules. Perfect. And then let's start with, we need to reload all the system daemon uh, files and then start the kubelet. So kubelet is kind of an agent which is going to sit on each and every nodes. And then let's make sure it is all up and running. Perfect. You see here, so our docker is up and running. Awesome. So that is pretty much done on the master node. We will come back, okay? We also need to execute a few things. Uh, but uh, before I go too far, let's also connect to uh, our worker node and then start doing the same thing, okay? Let me connect to my worker node. If you want to automate or you can also create a scripts and then you, know, you can execute on uh, both the uh, nodes, it is up to you. So let me connect to my uh, worker node. So this is the worker node. So let's start executing all these commands again. Perfect. So our Docker is installed, everything is up and running. Perfect. Now what we have to do, we need to initialize kubeadm. Okay, so we need to connect to master node and then we need to initialize that. Okay, so let's connect to our master node, which is nothing but this one. Okay. So we need to perform this command as a sudo user, root user. Okay, and then let's perform this command kubeadm in it. So this may take uh, you know few minutes. So it says that this can take up to four minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and then come back. All right. So kubeadm got initialized. So as you can see here, it says that to start using our cluster, we need to create this directory and then you know we need to copy these files. Okay. And then this also says that you need to perform this command in order to uh, join the worker node to a master node okay so this command should be performed in the worker node okay so perfect right so let's do one thing let's continue this one right so we need to perform uh, these commands so that we can start using the cluster that is what I have also mentioned here <coughs> awesome right so perfect, so everything is done. And then we need to connect to, uh, oh yeah, sorry, we missed one thing. 
we also need to install the add-ons so this is mainly for networking <coughs> okay so everything is created and then if you want to quickly see uh, you know if your node is running so you can perform this command right so yes yeah, so right now you can see only one master node is there so that is absolutely fine and then if you want to see all the namespaces wow see here so these are the uh, namespaces which which got created perfect right let's go to our worker node which is right here okay so we need to perform that command right which is you need to perform this command isn't it so let me copy that okay you need to put sudo before and then connect it right Oops. okay so we need to copy this properly okay and then perfect so as you can see here we are trying to uh, join the worker node to the cluster wow so this confirms that this node has joined the cluster awesome right so now it says that you know perform this command on the control plane just to see whether this node has been joined or not right so let's go back to our master node which is nothing but our control plane go ahead and then execute this command again wow see here so this is our worker node right perfect right so now let's quickly do a deployment okay let's actually do a some simple deployment okay just to make sure that uh, you know we were able to deploy uh, you know any uh, applications right so let's quickly create a deployment so i'm going to do a nginx okay that's a very simple way of you know testing it okay so now this got deployed. Let's quickly see uh, if this got deployed successfully, right? kubectl, oh, I think I made a typo. Perfect, wow, see here? So this got deployed. Okay, now let's say you want to access, uh, you know, Nginx, right? So yes, we need to expose or create the service, right? So I'm going to create the service. Okay, perfect. And then let's see if your service is running. Wow, see here? So that is our service which is running. Now, we should be able to access our service, right? So how do you access your service? It's, it's a very simple thing. Um, now, how can we access our Nginx, right? So let's see here. Uh, as you can see here, uh, so this is the port number, right? Our Nginx is running. Okay, and that is our, uh, so this is our cluster IP. So we have exposed this as a node port, right? So we need to uh, go to our uh, worker node or master node, and then we need to enter the public DNS name, right? So let's actually go to our worker node. So this is our worker node. Let's copy the public DNS name, okay? And then go here, go to the browser, and then the port number is what? three double two double two enter wow see here so this is our nginx right which we just got deployed into a kubernetes cluster which we set up using cube adm right so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you can set up your kubernetes cluster using cube adm thank you for watching